So your first question might be, what is a YubiKey? Well, there you are, you're looking at a batch of 10 that we got ordered. Um, they're basically um, small hardware devices. Uh, this one you see here is for USB-C and it's the Nano. Um, the reason we got these is because they are very uh, slim line and you can plug it into your laptop and you can just forget about it. You can just leave it in there. Um, and it doesn't snag as you put it in and out of a case. So it's the form factor really, uh, which is good. But they come in many varieties. Over on the Ubico website, uh, you can see just how small this little thing is. Um, the idea is, is that you touch the top, so there's a capacitive touch at the top of the device there, so that is the button in effect. Uh, and just leave it plugged into your laptop. You can see it's just like the wireless uh, dongles that you use for uh, the mouse and the keyboard. So they come in different um, form factors as well. You've got the older USB style here. This one is designed to be on a keychain. Um, yeah. So basically, just, just for a trial, what's really important is the protocol that it supports, um, the services on offer really from it. So if we just flick down quickly, like you can come to this website yourself at ubico.com um, and just have a, a deeper dive into it. But what I'm gonna do uh, over the course of these videos is delve into some of these protocols that are supported here. Uh, if for the first time, you know, like what on earth is FIDO2 and OTP and HOTP, you know, what is this stuff? It's just gobbledygook, isn't it? So let's just walk through um, some of these specifications and I'll give you some concrete examples of how to use this token um, to secure your online presence, to sign your code commits, to protect your SSH keys, to make sure that somebody doesn't own your account online. Because when you give it some thought, we spend so much effort protecting our networks yet we poke a hole right through everything that we do um, that hole is well we need it we need it to log in it's authentication it's the very th first point it's the the beginning of uh, getting into a system so all the security measures in place avoided if we have an account that's compromised so the first step, protect your accounts. And something like this, being a, a second factor authentication mechanism, it makes it very hard for somebody who has, in this example here, credential stuffing, okay? Um, they've basically gone in, they've hacked a database, they've stolen millions of accounts, they've got all, everybody's username and password hashes and so on. You hear of things called rainbow tables, which are effectively people have cracked the password by just generating a, a shed ton of um, hashes for well-known passwords, like secret, and it would be it would be done over anyway. All that aside, um, passwords are dead in the water. Like they're really crap. Um, they're okay as a secondary measure, but on their own, they're useless. If you're still using them, you're about five years behind current thinking in this space. So um, it's time to jump forwards, get with the times, um, don't get owned, yeah? Don't get your account owned. Um, don't get fished as well. We'll look at this later when we start looking into FIDO, um, how phishing works, and you're probably well aware of this. Um, but yeah, it's just like tricks with URL names and things like that. So the FIDO protocol will help protect you from this kind of crap going on in the world as well so yeah anyway that's that's just a quick overview of what the Ubico YubiKey is um, there are other vendors out there providing these and you can get them for a lot less but there's a very comprehensive feature suite uh, with this lots of services on offer and yeah anyway let's let's crack on let's start looking into these Okay, so start by downloading a copy of the YubiKey Manager for your operating system. The URL you need is there, I've just highlighted. Uh, in my example, I'm using the Windows 64-bit version. Um, I've cheated a bit here, uh, so I've already downloaded this um, previously. So I'll just uh, go through the installation with you. 
but here we are here's the manager it requires administration mode so let's just go through that um, you should always fire a scan what you get off the internet obviously um, and just make sure the hash matches what's presented as well so let's just walk through the installation yeah I always stick with defaults on these kind of things um, and off we go looks pretty simple I'll just pause whilst we do this well that all took a lot longer than I thought it would uh, it took about five minutes to get through the install process um, it seemed to get hung on like the last 99% um, so yeah let's just um, give that a run and just see how it comes out so I have plugged the YubiKey in already and there we have it so I identified some details about what I've got um, different protocols which are available which is fantastic uh, one-time passcodes so a short touch and a long touch that's quite interesting defines different ways to, to get those codes out okay so I'm going to explore some of these um, these other features in later videos but this is just a first glance of having the the, the manager installed and just uh, seeing what we can do with it so here's another great application that's worth installing uh, from Ubico it's the Ubico Authenticator um, what this will do is effectively turn your token that you've got plugged into your laptop into um, a time-based authenticator so those of you that are familiar with uh, Google and Android may have used the authenticator app so that's the application where you get presented with a QR barcode you typically take a photo or you scan it and what that then does is create an entry uh, a credential entry and that becomes your strong second factor authentication that you can then use to uh, to prove that you are who you claim to be so what I'm going to do is um, I'm just going to show you this uh, I've already downloaded it from their website for Windows 10 and I've already installed it so here's the interface that we get here there are no credentials present at the moment um, what we're going to do is we're going to set this up with my Atlassian account just so I can show you multi-factor in use with that so I'm just gonna hop over to this tab here and this just requires me to prove I am who I claim to be <clears throat> and it's probably a site familiar to you if you have set up multi-factor before on your phone so is the barcode here um, what's great about this app as well is that as we add a credential I believe it has the ability to scan the screen um, we can give that a trial but I have a dual display so that may be problematic we'll give it a go anyway and I'm also recording so maybe that has an effect okay that hasn't worked for me in this case so I'm just gonna go through and enter the code manually so you always get this option so I have an account name and a few other details just to place in there so let's go through that account name secret key so there we have it this require touch option as well this is um, this is interesting because what this does is it means that the YubiKey has to be inserted and you have to touch it to be able to get the code out which is great because if you think of the uh, the Google Authenticator you, you don't need any of that at all so it's just telling me down here some of the other details for the key rotation so TOTP is the style for this um, that's one of the protocols mentioned so it's all masked you cannot see what's going on here so to finally complete this step what I need to do is enter in one of the codes so if I double click on the entry the credential entry there it's asking me to touch my YubiKey so there, there I have and now it's presented to me so I can copy that onto the clipboard 
paste it over here and then register it and now it thinks that I'm actually connected to my account using a phone but it's not actually a phone it's the authenticator app so that's brilliant because now I've got strong two-factor authentication I can now try that out by logging back in again just complete the circle okay aha strong two-factor authentication enabled so it's asking me now for my six-digit verification code so back over to here we go double click to select the entry touch the UV key grab the time based code pop it in the window and that should get me into my account so that's that that's how to use the Yubico authenticator um, this is very common out there on the internet today um, what companies call multi-factor support will typically be an SMS or it will be this time-based authentication so that's how to get yourself work working with that um, specifically with your Atlassian account I suggest protecting anything and everything that supports this now uh, passwords are dead it's time to start using stronger authentication ideally um, this isn't as usable as the Fido uh, protocol that's out there so this is more of a second resort if we can't use Fido directly so anyway it's a, it's a good option it requires an app installed onto your desktop and um, yeah it's, it's very easy to use and I would say it's better than the Google Authenticator because um, it actually masks the codes as you can see here and it's also requesting me to touch as well so a piece of malware that's just sat there scraping my screen recording and anything like that would have a very limited time window to see what's going on um, otherwise if I were to leave that open on, on my desktop just for convenience uh, the trouble is is a piece of malware would be constantly scraping my screen it would know my codes my second factor codes um, and it would have access to my accounts because of that um, so not a very strong means of authenticating if uh, you've been compromised but anyway I hope you found that useful um, I'll certainly be using this in the websites that don't support the stronger, better, easier authentication mechanisms. I'm just going to quickly show you how you can register your YubiKey with your GitHub account. So go straight over to um, the settings once you're logged in using your current authentication mechanism um, I presently use a well it's not a YubiKey but it's another strong authentication token so what I'm gonna do is I'm now gonna register my my YubiKey um, I'm using my own personal token now what I'm gonna do is have two strong authentication tokens uh, registered against my github account so one will in effect be my backup which will be my personal one and my primary day-to-day -day one I'm gonna use now so I've already plugged the YubiKey in uh, I'm just gonna add that and as you can see I get challenged to now press the key on the YubiKey so I've done that and that's it it's as simple as that I've I've now registered that against my github account uh, as for my settings I have two security keys registered uh, and I've disabled the other options that are there so no SMS no recovery tokens I have recovery codes I couldn't see a way to disable that actually uh, and there's the authenticator app so I couldn't find a way to disable that as well I think what could be possible is you just um, you just delete it so it might be set up but you don't have it registered anywhere to be able to use it as for recovery codes I'm not entirely sure um, how I can disable that at all because these these are basically back doors into your account like um, if somebody doesn't have your security key they're going to start using these other methods out of here so disable as many as possible because 
you just don't want them lying around. Uh, they're, a, they're a potential vulnerability because uh, the, the YubiKey will be too difficult for a hacker and so they'll try these other options. So yeah, ho hopefully it's, um, it's not gonna be too, too much of an issue. But um, yeah, that's, that, that's quite cool. Um, I'll start exploring other features later like SSH and GPG keys, uh, registering those on GitHub. But for now, this is just the FIDO uh, login that's been done. So I can sign out now with my GitHub account and choose to sign in. So bearing in mind it is uh, multi-factor as well. I'm just gonna put my password in. Okay, and now I'll be challenged. So I can test my new YubiKey and tell it to use my key. And there, there it is, it's now logged me in. Brilliant. So that's, that's great. That's uh, that's got me all logged in using my strong authentication token. Uh, just make sure that if you have two of these keys, you don't leave them both in the laptop because one's intended to be a backup. So should you lose your laptop, um, you'll lose your backup option. So store it somewhere safe. Um, what you could also do is have one backup personal token for everyone in the family, for example, uh, or uh, yeah, you could, Put it away in a safe as well just keep it protected uh, as long as you've got two the chances of you losing both are uh, reduced quite a bit so um yeah that that should hopefully protect you from a lot of attacks that are out there on the internet uh, related to like credential stuffing for example i hope that was helpful